really long beams. There's a few back here. There's like 10 of them or so, I think. Um, and I'm gonna use that to do the Hugo culture bed back in, back here um, at the big house. And if you've been watching along for, I don't know, two years now, you probably remember that we did Hugo culture part one and part two. Now, last year I brought in all the manure and loaded the whole thing up with manure. And this year we brought over the chickens and the ducks to the big house and they have been tearing the whole pile apart and just making a horrendous mess. And I am now scooping it all back up and putting it back in the tubby shed. But it's really good because they're pooping on it and they're turning it over and they're 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 really working it. So what is there now for two years is Hugo culture. Um, it's just, it's amazing. It's just beautiful black gold. I gotta show you guys what it looks like. So some of this is gonna become the beams and the structure and the framing, and then the rest of this will become the actual walls um, of the raised bed in the back. So let's get back there and I'll show you what that looks like because it's pretty cool. Um, and of course there's gonna be wood left over, so it'll make more chairs and tables and little benches, and this is all like awesome allotment stuff. Thicker and look pretty. 